right now I'm currently grinding anvils to upgrade my gear because we gotta need that to upgrade our gear. But the characters that I'm going for, there are two in particular ones that I really want to chase for. And one of them is Purgatory Bond. And the reason why that is is because Purgatory Bomb team and uh, Purgatory's Bond team, in my opinion, is one of the best free-to-play teams when it comes to base characters. And what I mean by that is because his team isn't loaded with all these like festival required characters like the goddess team. All you need is Excalibur Arthur. And I got hit. You get one free daily, like, summon a day just to watch the ad. And you have a chance to get this guy into part three. There's also part three tickets apparently coming in that we're going to be able to get. And maybe you'll get a chance to obtain it. Also, the other characters you actually need on his team are ironically, are ironically free to play too. And they're actually SRs and Rs. One of them being Twiggo. Twiggo is actually still relevant to the day on his team because of his passive. Increases strength. Uh, it just increases your HP pool by 30%, and Bond loves HP, so that's why I have this guy level 80 and built up. I have no real gear on him, I just threw on some uh, gear. I'm gonna probably max it out, not UR, but max it out as SSR. And then the last character you would normally throw on the team is also... Oh, where is he at? It's one of the... I don't know which one it is, but it's one of these... <laughs> one of these guys. Uh, I gotta check which one it is. It's probably this one. Uh, yeah, this one right here. You would throw this guy on him, right? Uh, Graymore. But the thing is, we might be getting a new Graymar soon, so, like, maybe the pawn team will get a buff. There's also another character coming in the future, like, within, like, a month and a half, I think, that just hit JP, and her name is Mono. And what Mono does is she's a tech human, and she doesn't exactly fit on the team, per se, but you can put her in the on the front seat if you want to, with Purgatory Bomb, so you have 2 DPS, so maybe you'll get more consistency out of the... out of your field, because, like, honestly, when you have Graymore and... Arthur on the field, there can be some dead hands, right? Because you want to just get those bond cards. So maybe if Mono, you can also get, like, Mono to, like, attack, do a lot of damage, because she does do a lot of damage without her ultimate. And then you can have Purgatory Bond go in there and, like, wipe the field, right? So that's why I'm looking into Mono and Purgatory Bond. I think I can, should be able to get them both, because I do have a 1,000 diamonds, and about time we get to that point, I'm getting 52 diamonds a week currently because of the PvP, plus whatever events they bring in. I'm just stacking up my diamonds and trying to save up for those two characters. So that's my plan for my account. That's what I'm trying to go for, is this bad boy right here, Purgatory Bond. We, we might be getting a new one. Uh, leaks have it saying we might get a new Summon Merlin, we might get a new Purgatory Bond, but those are leaks. At the end of the day, they are leaks, so who knows if it's actually going to happen. So right now, all I want to do is form up my anvils, get my characters geared up, and prep for my team. Because the Purgatory Bond team is going to be my main team, personally. And then, like, the here, we'll put this on auto real fast, because who cares? We're going to switch over the screen real fast to the tier list. Here's what bothers me the most. If we go here and, all oh, this, this should be a tier list here, general tier list. This is obviously someone's personal opinion. But the thing that bothers me the most is that the Angel team... The full angel team is broken. Like, SS. Margaret, SS. Goddess, SS. Sarmiel, SS. Tarmiel. Like, the full goddess team is just apparently broken. And I can see why. Because you have Tarmiel, who just instant kills your gauge when you're trying to ult. You have Goddess Elizabeth that will, at 6'6, six, six, literally kill you if you attack her. You have Sarmiel, who's just, like, the weakest character on the PvP team. He's the bait. Uh, from what I can tell, most people run Margaret, Tarmiel, and Sarmiel on the front. And their whole purpose is to get Sarmiel killed so they can pull Goddess Elizabeth out safely. And then you can't win because now you have to deal with Goddess Elizabeth, Margaret, and Tarmiel, right? So what I hope is that with the new Mono and my Bond team, I'm able to just kill everyone on the field at once. So when Goddess takes the field, it's just her or one other person, right? And with the AoEs on those two characters, I do believe that you should be able to win most of your fights against the Goddess team. Now, is the Goddess team the best team in the game? In my opinion, it's the most annoying. Therefore, it's probably the best. Or the best, like, against newer accounts. Because, like, no one likes Goddess Elizabeth. She's just so cheesy. And then we pair next to Carmiel. It's like, you don't ever do enough damage. You never feel like you have enough damage, right? I feel like the only balanced character on this team is actually Sarmiel. And that's because he's, like, he's, he's the damage dealer, right? That's all he brings is damage. Where these two bring... Just annoying utility. And then you have Margaret, which is probably the best, best, arguably one of the most diverse and best characters in the game because she can fit on so many teams and help so many teams out. 
by herself, she can't take on this whole team, right? But currently, my team is uh, Margaret, Merlin, Red Gother, and then my back line is actually... Where, the, where do they even put Ellie Hawk? I have Ellie Hawk in the back because, like, I don't really have any back line options. I could put Death Pierce back there once I build them, but honestly, I, I like the damage reduction. Just so they're not... She's not even, like... In this... Where do they put her? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where the hell is Eliog? Do they put her lower? No. Yep, right here. Wow. Uh, heroes that have niche purposes, at least as a sub. You know what? I feel like she's a little sub done, but I don't fully disagree with this. Like, the only purpose I have for Eliog is when I go against the Bolt Goddess team, so I have a chance to take less AoE damage because Margaret's AoE. Uh, Armiel has AoE. Sarmiel has a single target that does big damage, but he does have an AoE in there too. Like, it helps me slightly, but honestly, if I could replace her for something else, I totally would, because, like, Ellie Hawk is very underwhelming when it comes to her main cards, which is, like, why I don't run her, right? So that's why I'm trying to build this, like, human team. I want, I want, I want Purgatory Bond. I have Excalibur Arthur that I'm building gear on, right? I want to go for the mono for my extra frontliner, and then you just put Twiggo in the back, and then, like, it's a pretty good team, right? Like, you don't have to go for Mono. I'm not saying, like, Mono isn't a summon. Actually, I think she's more or less um, probably a skip. But, like, for me, since I always seem to go against these goddess teams, I want to have a green unit that can just destroy them. Sure, I could probably run green Escanor. But I just, like... I don't even know if I have him on my account. I can't run Meliodas. He's a demon. This guy could be decent. Like, Bond's team needs buffs, so hopefully the next human releases buffs his team directly so he can compete with this broken goddess team now there are other teams that are broken right obviously you have lolly uh lolly uh merlin's team or it's uh lolly merlin and then you run uh what's her face uh blue amelia and then uh, i forget who else is on that team margaret i guess margaret maybe i don't know i don't know the exact team because i don't have it but i just know like the whole purpose of it is to freeze people and yet blow them up with merlin right and that's the whole purpose of that team and it's really annoying but i can actually beat that team pretty like it's not easy but i can compete with it for the goddess team i might as well surrender button because i already know once i kill sarmiel on accident i lose so that's kind of like that's where i'm at guys uh for my uh future plans is I want to go for the Purgatory Bond team and prep for getting up in that high rank PvP. I also need to get my gear going because like Merlin Merlin has single-handedly carried me to champion. Well Merlin and Margaret has carried me my account in the PvP section for ungeared into that champion four area. But that's kind of like where I'm capped out, which is still good. Like it's still I'm getting like still a good chunk of gems a day, right? But I want to push up higher to the top if possible. Not top 100, but just top of the uh, champion board. So I get 60 gems per week instead of 52. That would be, like, my ideal, like, scenario. But, because, like, I don't have all these other characters. Like, I don't have the one. We might be getting a Halloween Escanor, but who knows if he's going to compete with the one, right? Like, I, I have Meliodas, but when I went in and summoned for Margaret, I did a full rotation. I didn't pull Chandler, so I don't have a demon team per se. Like, if I go to my set teams right now... I got my Merlin team. I got my in progress Bond team, right? Obviously, Purgatory Bond will be there, and this team will be pretty damn good. Uh, I might replace Margaret for Mono just to try it out. She looks good. At the end of the day, she does look like she's going to do a lot of damage. And she doesn't need her ultimate to do damage, which is good, right? So then she can be like the distraction as I secretly build my Bond up to just one shot their line, right? Obviously, getting a 6 6 Bond is like ideal, but like even at 1 6 or 2 6. Bond does a lot of work. And then, like, this is, like, my other motto team. I'm going to try to build up Death Pierce and give this a go. Because Green Gother is technically better than Red Gother when it comes to critting. But, like, it's, like, I'm in a situation where I'm missing important units. So if I were to go build a melee team, right, I would be missing Chandler. I don't have Chandler, right? I do have him. I have to roll. Uh, I don't have the back. I don't have the back uh, character either. Uh, what's his name? Is this him? I don't know this is him. Increases allies base attacks by 6 for each hero in battle. I guess I could use this Zeldris, but I think it's the other Del Zeldris that's required, I believe. I don't know if it's this one per se. It could be this one, but I don't think it is. I think it's the one on the banner currently. And then you'd put <clears throat> Chandler here, right? And that would be your melee team. But the problem is if I go into my draw, 
like, we'll look at the banner. I think it's Margaret's banner that has it. When I went full 900 pity here, I pulled two Margaret's and nothing else. I got my Meliodas off the guaranteed, like, selection pick. And I didn't pull anything else. It was kind of depressing. So if I go to rates, I think this is the guy you want, right? For every debuff applied on the enemy. I guess he would be the backliner, too. I'm not sure who's better. Which one's better, guys? Let me know. Is it green? Zeldris or is it Red Zeldris if you're running the back of the Meliodas team? I actually don't know, but I also would need Chandler because Chandler's like a big part of the melee team. Like you go in that counter mode and no one wants to attack you. If they attack you, this guy just, <laughs> he, he ends you, right? So it's like, sure, I could build a dumbed down version of the Meliodas team, which would be, uh, what's her face on the team instead if I go to the set team? It would be, uh, it would be, what's her face? I have her. Her, right? I would, I could run Melascula, because I think she's an option for the team, but, like, it's not as good as Chandler, and I'm not sure if this team could compete at the top. Especially, like, does he have the same passive, actually, as the other one? Hold on. Increases allies' base deck by 6% for each hero in the battle with, like... Well, I guess I could run him, to be fair, because each of them would have a commandment, so he would be fine in the back, I suppose. I'd have to work on him. But I guess this could be my dumbed-down melee team, right? Because honestly, Troll's like... Troll's like... The main, like... Purpose of the team, outside of Meliodas being like the one that kills everyone. He would petrify and help me, like, get to where I need to go. And then you'd have... Her. She would keep my other units alive. But if she got focused and died, she'd be pointless, right? Which is why Chandler's better. So, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind getting the Meliodas team, but we need to buff the demon team slightly. I do think it needs some buffs. I feel like it's just missing a name, like a main unit. Like, one more main unit would be, like, what this team would need to push it to the goddess level. Because, like, Meli can't carry the team on his own. I'm sorry, he can't. He does really good work, and he's pretty damn solid when it comes to, like, what he does. But, like, it's he he's easily counterable, like, for every team. Just don't attack him and just rush your ult, right? And you can win the, against his team. Which is what his flaw is. Like, his flaw is that you just don't attack him, and you just all rush and then you blow up everyone at once right my my merlin team frags meliodas's team because like can't really hurt me with margaret with her level two or level three buffs so i don't know guys you let me know what you guys think of my current plan for my seven deadly sentence account i want to go for purgatory bond i want to go for mono and there's a chance that i try to go for the escanor coming for halloween if that's like the actual case like a new escanor would be obviously a good choice because there's not really a bad escanor in the game and usually from what I can tell, whenever there's a new Escanor, he's broken, so. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, do you like the way I'm trying to prep my account so I can compete in the higher end PvP? Do you guys think Purgatory Bond is the right choice? Do you think his team's gonna be, like, busted in the future? I know there's a chance we get a new one, but honestly, Red Purgatory Bond is pretty awesome, in my opinion. Especially if it's Relic. I know it's gonna take weeks and weeks to grind out the Relic, but I feel like if you put the time in, you'll get rewarded for it in the PvP. Like, in the end of the day, you'll get rewarded for it, right? Especially if I want to go into geared PvP. I feel like Purgatory Bond is like the way to go. Because you want to start second anyway. That or Meliodas, right? So, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. My name is Josh. I'm signing off. Peace.